Welcome to Being Mindful and Present with Negative Emotions, a guided meditation. Hello, my name is Sonia Ross, and I will be your guide for today. So let's begin this meditation by connecting with our breath and reviewing these few simple intentions or questions. As you breathe, just remember and think about why you chose this topic, how your belly, chest, and head each feel as we reflect on this topic. The emotions that you can associate with these visceral feelings the positive or negative impact of any stories you believe regarding this topic. The fact that many others are feeling very similarly about this topic as you are right now. How you might feel with increased awareness around this topic. When you can apply increased awareness to this topic in your day-to-day -day life. So breathe and connect with your breath. Gently noticing the inhale through your nose and the exhale through your mouth. Continue to focus on your breath. In this exercise, I'll share how mindfulness can help you become however you want to be, rather than simply reacting to the stresses of work, news, responsibilities, or day-to-day -day life. By now, you may be feeling a little more comfortable with a mindfulness practice. And you may also be connecting with the potential of what mindfulness can do for you. For example, what would it be like if you weren't worried about work or your mortgage? or feeling overwhelmed all the time, or feeling tired from all of your chores and responsibilities? What if, instead of feeling overwhelmed, bored, or stressed, you were able to step back and say, oh, okay, the feeling I'm having right now is overwhelm. Oh, okay, the feeling I'm noticing that I'm having right now is worry. Oh, okay, that's just stress. I know what that is, and I've got this. Rather than saying, I am stressed, rather than feeling as though you're in the middle of it all, instead, just recognizing that, okay, that's a thought, that's a feeling. For some of you, that, that may sound crazy or weird or woo-woo, or you may well think, yeah, but you don't know about my situation. And you're right, I don't. But remember, it's really important to see that this practice of mindfulness takes time for change to happen, but change does happen. For people who are successful at what they do, it's a habit of a lifetime, or at least a good habit for a good few years. We're not just talking about doing better at work or feeling less stressed. This is about living life on your own terms. This is about choosing how awake and present you want to be for the life you're living right now. This is about enhancing your presence, your wisdom, your compassion, and your effect on the world inside of you and outside of you to the absolute best of your ability. How do you want to be when you're older? Mindful. Every time you realize you're distracted and you're taking the time to acknowledge it, something is changing inside of you, not only in thoughts and consciousness, but also in the brain itself. If you experience stress, overwhelm, or anxiety a lot, then it'll be really uncomfortable and you'll probably want to get as far away from it as possible 
and that's perfectly understandable. But it's also really important to acknowledge that you can't stop every anxiety. Everyone's tried and it doesn't work. What you can do is develop a different type of relationship with anxiety, where you eventually feel at ease with it and potentially can even start to embrace it as a way of further understanding your mind. So as you move through your day to day, remember that idea of being aware, simply being aware and being present for the sensations in your body. Whenever you remember to do this, it's quite an amazing thing because all of a sudden you're actually present and in your body. And again, it's, a, it's as though you've cut a negative feedback loop. You step out of the loop of thinking, which fuels the emotions of stress and overwhelm. And instead, you're actually present with your body and what you're doing. On the one hand, it's a very ordinary feeling. And yet on the other hand, it's an extraordinary feeling because we experience it so rarely, just remembering to be present, simply remembering to be aware. So to recap, if you experience stress, overwhelm or anxiety a lot, then it will be really uncomfortable and you'll probably want to get as far away from it as possible. And that's perfectly understandable. But it's also very important to acknowledge that you can't stop anxiety. Everyone's tried and it doesn't work. But what you can do is develop a different type of relationship to your anxiety or any distressing feeling you are experiencing. Will you eventually feel at ease with it and potentially can even start to embrace it as a way to further understanding your mind? So as you move through your day to day, Remember that idea of being aware, simply being aware and being present for the sensations in your body. And remember, as you're being aware, continue to connect with your breath. I hope this has been useful for you, and I hope you continue to cultivate the experience of mindfulness moment to moment, day to day. I am Sonia Ross. Thank you for listening all the way through to this guided meditation. And I hope you will join us again for another experience. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button or leave a comment below. Until we meet again, thank you.